If you've been worried about taking the LSAT with Prometric, I've got some great news for you. Hey, what's up everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, joining you today to share some great news for those of you taking the LSAT with Prometric in September, October, and beyond. Before I get into it, a little bit about LSAT Unplugged. We offer live online classes via Zoom, on-demand video courses, small group coaching, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to help you out. So the reason I'm making this video is that many of you may have been concerned about taking the LSAT with Prometric in September and October, either remotely or in person, due to the disaster that was the August LSAT with Prometric, where thousands and thousands of test takers taking it remotely experienced issues with the proctoring, I won't go into it in depth here because I've covered it plenty in the past, but the short version is that the proctoring was a total disaster. Prometric did not know what they were doing. They didn't seem to have enough proctors and the proctors were not well-trained. Lots of issues waiting to connect with a proctor, proctors dropping off in the middle. I have an in-depth video on this called August LSAT Prometric Disaster that got over 5,000 views. I created it back at the beginning of the August LSAT administration. I've been hopeful that LSAC and Prometric would learn the lesson from that experience so that those taking it in September, October, November, and beyond will hopefully have a smoother experience. It appears that LSAC and Prometric have worked together to help resolve some of the issues. And so what they have done is they've added additional testing dates for both the September LSAT and the October LSAT as well. They sent out a couple of tweaks within the past week, letting us know that they've added September 10th as an additional testing day for those taking it in September. Again, that's September 10th. And they've added two testing dates for the October LSAT, both October 15th and October 16th. So now for the September LSAT, you have September 8th, 9th, and 10th. They've spread the test takers over three different dates, not just two. And for the October LSAT, we now have October 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th. So for October, they're spreading the test takers over four separate primary testing dates. Looking ahead to the November LSAT on LSAC's website, they've added now in total four testing dates for November, November 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. So it seems then that Prometric was not capable of handling a surge of test takers for an exam like the LSAT that's not offered nearly every single day, but rather on average, roughly once a month, a little bit less than that. But basically it appears that the surge of August LSAT test takers overwhelmed Prometric's systems and they couldn't source enough proctors to handle those limited testing dates. So now they're spreading the test takers and the proctors over multiple testing dates in order to better even things out so that the Prometric system is not overloaded. And so previously I've been recommending that if you can at all, if at all possible, take the LSAT in person at a testing center rather than remotely with Prometric. I'm now relatively more hopeful that the remote LSAT administrations will go better now that we have the testing administrations spread over more testing dates, three for September, four for October, and four for November as well. Anyway, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you know anyone taking the LSAT in September, October, November, or beyond, who's been concerned about taking the LSAT either in person or remotely due to the previous disasters with Prometric, please do me a favor and share this video with them. I don't do any paid advertising for this channel. The only way this spreads is through word of mouth. So please do me a favor, just share this link with someone who needs to see it. And in the meantime, I'll wish you all the best and take care.